focus. It's our first dive of the trip in Marle. Um, it's going to be a great sunny day. Um, so we might as well just go and get to it. Don't freak out. It's a brand new day out in Mali. Check it out. We're going ham today. We are actually gonna be diving and snorkeling. You're gonna see it all. My name's Floppy Dugong, AKA Zach. It's nice to meet you. Enjoy the video. These streets are hectic. Raining, the camera's getting wet, so I need to do this quickly. But um, Asmi's just down below, one of the dive instructors, um, putting the beginners through uh, some pool training, and then we're gonna head over, head over to our dive site at Gulumale, 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 Gulumale. No G, it's just H U. Gulumale. Gulumale. I'm gonna butcher every single one of these names. I'm so sorry, but um. We're gonna go for a dive just before, actually, check out this. Look at that, that's what we have to deal with at the moment. But, we're gonna go for a dive, hopefully not die. If I die, then this probably isn't gonna go up on YouTube, most likely. Try not to put it up for you. <laughs> but, we're gonna pump, pump, get wet, pump. Swim with the pump fishes. Pump, pump. That was super cringy. If you get that reference, comment down below. But that was cringy. Let's just go for a dive. Okay, so this is the part of the video where I'll do like a fact section after every dive. And um, I've actually got the camera propped up here. I was going to do it outside, just at the back where the light's coming out of. But, um, I've only got the fan going, the super roll, but I've got all of the edited footage right in front of me. Uh, so if I'm looking down, or the camera will up, down, up, down, and it's just because I'm watching the video as you guys are watching it. Um, so I give you like the best experience possible. Uh, but what happens is, videos will come up, I might put it like over here somewhere. The video will come up, um, this is so itchy. Uh, it'll come up. I'll tell you facts about the animals, like the, uh, what they are, obviously, um, where their distribution is, their major threats, how we can solve that, and possibly like a cool little fact, I don't know, something cool, something awesome about the creature, and that'll be it for this segment, and then we'll carry on with the rest of the video. So, 
enjoy it. Actually, I don't know what I'm going to call this. Maybe like, Facts with Zach. That was lame. Uh, maybe... The Knowledge of the Dingo. Oh, God. No. <laughs> no. Uh, jeez. I really didn't think this through before I started this. Maybe... Facts with the Jugal. Facts with Zach is not the best thing I can come up with. We'll stick with that. Facts with Zach. Alright, so first of all we see this um, sea turtle just chilling in the background uh, in the dark. Can't really see it. We believe it's a green sea turtle. But the cool thing about these guys is that they are probably the third largest uh, turtle next to the leatherback and the loggerhead turtle. Um, but these guys actually help the environment quite a lot. Now you see in this situation where we are now, yeah, there's not a lot of well, there's no seagrass because we're on the side of a wall. But in this situation, they will eat a lot of the algae and a lot of the um, seaweed that would grow around in that area. So right now you're seeing one of these turtles swim away. Um, they weren't as friendly as a lot of the sea turtles that we've seen. This is probably because one of their major threats are us, humans. Um, they do get caught up in a lot of nets when we go trawling. Uh, but that's why we have TEDs or TEDs, Turtle Exclusion Devices, and um, these have been implemented in a lot of our trawling methods. Um, but they do get also get caught up in uh, human consumption through eating a lot of their eggs, and they're killing them for their meats. But this then dabbles into a lot of um, traditional management, which is a very very controversial topic because we don't, you know, a lot of us city folk don't actually understand the traditional management to the point of that's what they've been doing for thousands of years. So we don't have a right per se to tell them, no, you can't do this, you can't do that. But this is cool. We don't actually know if this was a green sea turtle or not. It may have been a loggerhead purely because of the barnacles on its back. Um, they do like to hang around a lot of the loggerhead turtles more than the sea turtles. Um, but yeah, loggerhead, possibly, maybe a sea turtle. The cool way is that you can tell if it's a sea turtle mainly just by its skin, not so much its shell. Its shell does give it away, but the skin is the main part of the body that shows if it's a sea, green sea turtle or if it's a loggerhead or if it's a leatherback. Leatherbacks are quite easy, just by the shell. Like that's just a dead giveaway. Um, the shell is usually like ovular, coming in with some ridges going out, meeting at the tail, um, and it's typically black. So that's your, that's your leatherback turtle. This thing raised. There's two types. You've got your pelagics and your freshwaters. So this one would be pelagic, obviously, because we're not in fresh water. We're actually like, illegally here. Um, but, as most of you would know, stingrays actually have poisonous barbs, um, a few exceptions obviously, your mantas, and your, like your mantas and your, um, mobulas, but these stingrays sheath their poisonous barbs, uh, over a layer of skin, kind of like how you would sheath a sword, uh, or a knife, uh, but, one of their major threats is through bottom trawling because obviously as you know these guys lay on the bottom and they cover themselves in sand um, and wait for an attack but bottom trawling is one of their major threats and what happens is they're not really valuable so they will get thrown overboard um, but their populations are increasing and that's because one of their natural predators is also being caught through overfishing such as like shark fin soup or just through bycatch um, and that's the great hammerhead sharks. In a couple of seconds you will just see a giant moray eel 
right here, right now. You're just seeing it. You're seeing it now. This is a giant moray eel. Now, moray eels, exclusively, there are 15 genera of species that live in marine environments. Overall, there's about 200, but 15 exclusively live in marine environments. Now, these guys love living in burrows, and that's just because it's easy, it's safe, and it allows them to ambush their predators. Now, a lot of them coat themselves in a like sticky mucus that they created by themselves, which gives them that extra form of defense from a lot of predators, um, such as like sharks or um, other more eels. Um, but a lot of the so a lot of people are scared of more eels, and this is mainly because of a lot of divers that hand feed them. Now in doing this, the moray eel's eyesight is actually pretty bad. And this is because um, a lot of them rely on like, an acute form of smell as a sense and you can't really differentiate between a finger and some food. Now this is where a lot of the attacks come from. Some are just if you're like messing around with their burrow, they will attack you. It's like if anyone comes into your home, they're gonna attack you. So like, just don't do that. Just check them out from a distance. See what they're like. Like in this video, record them, check them out. They're awesome creatures. Um, but yeah, like, don't mess around with them. It's like with anything. You respect them, they respect you. Now their main threat is us, because people eat them. I just found that out today. A lot of people love eating more eel, but the problem is that these guys have a certain toxin called a sequitoxin, which is a poison that they accumulate from a fish, or from that fish eating a certain algae, which then gets taken in through the more eel. And that's about it. Hope you enjoyed that part with Facts with Zach. I think that's what I'm going to call it. Um, but yeah, as long as you enjoyed that, please like the video. Uh, leave a comment down below if you did enjoy this and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. I'll catch you next time.